you are on lesson 12, the last lesson of the steps to success. This lesson is on staying motivated. So now that you've got your business up and going, you've got a good start, good feel for your clientele, all that, this lesson is going to help you find ways to stay motivated. Motivation is a key thing when you're self-employed. If you can't stay motivated and motivate yourself, your business isn't going to go very far, right? So it's a good good thing to know how to do and keep yourself on track. So, I mean, the chances are there's going to be times in your business you're going to feel stressed, you're going to feel overwhelmed, you're going to lack motivation or support and feeling like it's going to be impossible to be successful and you may even have a desire to quit. So this lesson is going to give you some ideas how to stay motivated. <coughs> Excuse me. And the times that you feel all that stress and overwhelmed and everything like that, I want you to come back to this lesson and and just listen to some of these ideas and suggestions and start applying them and so you can get that renewed sense of purpose and remembering why, your why, and it'll all be worth it. So everyone finds motivation, inspiration, and support in different ways. <coughs> Excuse me. The key is to know what those ways are for you and be prepared before you need them. So, you know, you don't want to wait till you're unmotivated to sit there and figure out what motivates me, right? You want to know beforehand. And so there, here's a list of some suggested ideas to have ready for those times because they're going to happen. Trust me, they're going to happen. So be prepared for them before they do. And <coughs> with this list, create your own list of what you know motivates you and so when you do have those lulls in motivation, you can use go refer to this list and start doing some of these things to help give you that boost you need. Um, but don't let too many of these become distractions or a way of avoiding what needs to be done, right? That, then that's kind of, it doesn't help your motivation, it's just distracting you. So one of the first things that I love doing is a motivational playlist. So a collection of your favorite songs, things that motivate and inspire you, that turn your focus to positive things. So music is one of those things, changes your emotion, your focus within seconds. And so having a good motivational playlist that you can just flip on and get stuff done, get roll up your sleeves and work too. Uh, the second one, positive friends and family. So know who your support system is. Um, who are the people that you can turn to? Your cheerleaders, right? They're going to be the ones that are like, you can do this. You're amazing. This is this is meant for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, make a list of those family and friends that are always supportive and leave you feeling like you can just do anything. And um, you, so you can contact them, shoot them an email and things or a text message, things like that when you need that little boost inspirational video playlist. So this is kind of like your music, but sometimes if you're a more visual person than you are audio, it's it's good to, to watch stuff that's motivating. Um, YouTube is great. They have a lot of motivational stuff. Um, make an entire playlist or channel of the videos that inspire and motivate you. Um, one of my absolute favorites that I watch is called, it's on YouTube, you can search it. It's called the wisdom of a third grade dropout, and um, I—that's on my. I have a motivational playlist. It's on my, <clears throat> and it is great. It, it's one of those inspiring, motivating talks that you're just like, wow. And so that's one of my favorites to listen to. And I, it's on my motivational playlist. Feel free on my channel here. You can go look at my playlist and feel free to subscribe or copy my motivational playlist. It's there for you. Do whatever you want and hopefully it helps you as well. Um, <clears throat> memes. Memes are another good motivator. So getting a collection of some good memes, some positive sayings, Set those as your screensaver, print them out, and put them up on your wall, things like that. Um, I have a couple different things that I do. I, I have actually a meme album on my Facebook that that is, I have one that's just funny, and I have one that's more inspirational or motivational. And so it's fun when I feel those lows, I can just click through them, and, and it's, it's a good boost. Um, I also have um, a picture frame, actually, by my front door that I, it's just a cheap, little picture frame, little 8 by 10 
and I change out probably about once a month a motivational quote in there. And, um, and it's good, like I do that for my kids and for everybody and I just kind of change it out randomly and uh, it's just always sitting on our front entry table. So something like that where you're, you're seeing those reminders as well. <clears throat> um, a life vision board is fantastic and we've already talked about that in a lesson here. But seriously, having a life vision board, those visual reminders, a lot of people think, you know, that they don't do any good or they're meaningless. I'm telling you, try it, try it, try it, try it, and you'll see the difference. Um, having that vision board, that reminder of your why and what is your, what are your goals and what are you doing, those positive affirmations that you can go over every time. I have a list, actually I have three I think, hanging up in my bathroom, just little three by five cards of positive affirmations or this week's goals, <coughs> excuse me, and I just have them, because every time I go to the bathroom, they're there. I read them for a second and, and you're reading them multiple times a day. Put them on your bathroom mirror every time you wash your hands or put on your makeup or your contacts or whatever, it's there as a reminder. Um, those positive affirmations are fantastic. Um, so in keeping a routine with doing positive affirmations every day will help help fill you with more positive energy, right? And then it, it keeps that negativity away because a lot of times when we're not motivated, you're kind of feeling like a lull. You're in a drain, a slump. You're not really feeling positive and energetic, right? Positive energy versus negative and low energy. <laughs> so they go hand in hand. <clears throat> Time out. So take a break. Sometimes you just need to step back, remember why you're doing what you're doing. Um, I, I know for us, a lot of times it's like we, we work, work, work so that we can provide for the family, but it's like you spend so much time working, you're not even spending time with the family. And it's easy to get like, oh, why am I even doing this? So take a break, spend some time with your family, go to the park, go on a hike, go on a vacation, go on a picnic, whatever, and go, or go on a date night with your spouse, things like that. Let that energize you, recharge you, and let you remember your why, of why you're doing this, why you want to own your own business, and, and whatever your goals are. <clears throat> Another one is to serve someone. Uh, it's easy to forget your own personal problems and reprioritize, refocus when you're serving someone else, right? You kind of, when you see someone else's struggles, suddenly yours don't seem that big, right? And so... Volunteer at your child's school, help with a nonprofit fundraiser, take some cookies or dinner to someone just out of the blue. Find little ways, things like that, that you can serve others. <clears throat> Another one, work it out. <laughs> Hit the gym, get a good physical workout, get your body release the stress, get the energy you need, go for a walk, go to the gym, go swimming, physically do something, okay? And, and especially a lot of times working from home, and I know how this, because a lot of times my work is right at a computer, sitting at my desk. And so it's good to have those reminders of just get up, physically, move your body, let it create those endorphins and things that that's going to help your, your mentality and everything like that, your motivation. <clears throat> uh, treat yourself. It's okay to treat yourself. Buy yourself a new outfit. Buy something you've been wanting to get. Um, I, I always have I always have wish lists. Like on Amazon, I have my Amazon wish list. And sometimes I'll just go in there and be like, hmm, what's in here? Okay, yeah, I really did want that. Let's buy that. You know, and, and things. It's, it's okay. Treat yourself once in a while. Um, all work and no play makes for a very sad day. <laughs> um, read a book. So there's lots of books on success and inspiration and some good, inspiring and motivating books. Uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Think and Grow Rich. Those are a couple of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of just motivational. If you want a fictional one or something, find those feel goods. You don't, when you're struggling with motivation, you don't necessarily want the down in the dumps depressing book, right? That's not going to help the situation. So find some positive, uplifting, overcoming challenges books. Uh, meditation is another way. So sometimes just relaxing, refocus, that'll help. Uh, there's some good meditations you can listen to if you're not good at doing them on yourself or by yourself. Um, <clears throat> one of my personal favorites is The Daisy Pond. That's by Bert Goldman. And uh, you can search that on YouTube as well. So just having ways to 
find what works for you to motivate yourself and in some good healthy ways and um, that is your homework this week is to come up with come up with a list of five different things that you can do to motivate yourself when you feel like you're you're starting to drag and you need a little motivation or things are getting discouraging what are some find five things that you can do and that is the last lesson i hope you've enjoyed these steps for success lessons and you can continue to build your business and and become an amazing success i would love to hear your stories and hopefully this has helped you please feel free like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and follow us on facebook